Welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about biconditional statements and definitions. And these are important because we are going to use them to start writing our proofs. So our objective today is to write biconditionals and to recognize good definitions. So let's start with looking at the definition of a biconditional statement. It's a true statement that combines a true conditional statement. And just to review, a conditional statement is an if-then statement that has a, a hypothesis and a conclusion, and it's true converse. And just to review converse, it means to switch the hypothesis and the conclusion. So let's take a look at our first conditional statement and see if it meets these two requirements. If a ray is an angle bisector, then it divides an angle into two congruent angles. So let's pick this apart. If we have a ray and we're told it, that it's an angle bisector, then it would divide the angle into two congruent angles. Yes, that is a true statement. We learned that in previous chapters. So, boom, check, that meets that requirement. Now let's do the converse. So I'm just going to take this statement here and just switch it and it would read, if a ray divides an angle into two congruent angles, then it is an angle bisector. Well, let's pick this apart piece by piece. Starting with the blue, or the hypothesis, if a ray divides an angle into two congruent angles, then we can conclude that this ray is indeed the angle bisector. And again, we've learned that in previous chapters, so that means that its converse is also true. So, boom, check. The second requirement is met. Now, taking the conditional statement from the previous slide and its converse, let's combine these now to write our biconditional statement. Now, I have some key words that I want you to write down and that you're going to associate every time you think of the word biconditional. And those words are if and only if. They are used in the biconditional statement every time. The only difference is, is that they actually go in the middle. So a biconditional statement that we would write, where we would combine these two statements here, would read, a ray is an angle bisector if and only if it divides an angle into two congruent angles. So I've taken the hypothesis and the conclusion, and I've combined them, but take note that I do not have an if in the beginning, I do not have a then here. Instead, I have the words if and only if. And the thing about a biconditional statement, it is always considered a reversible statement. We could write it either way, and it's going to be true either way. So I could flip this and reverse it, and it still is true. And here's the symbolic notation. It's pretty close to the if P then Q. The only difference is that my arrow goes both ways. That is an indication that it's reversible and we could write it either way. But we would say it P if and only if Q. Now let's talk about a good definition. A good definition always uses clear understood terms. It is precise and it is reversible. And that word reversible is the whole reason that we just learned about the biconditional statement. A biconditional statement is considered reversible. So a good definition is always a true biconditional statement. So we can write it as a definition or we can write it as the biconditional statement. I'll see you guys in class and I hope you guys are getting excited about starting to write our proofs.